Uh, a concept that I've thought about for a very long time is that people, me included, everybody, always expect a different result after doing the same thing over and over. So let's say if you're practicing an instrument and you practice in the same way, like Leon Fleischer said, perfect practice makes perfect, not practice makes perfect. I thought uh, Fleischer had a great, great idea there. He's, he's come up with several one-liners that I sort of employ or have throughout my life. But the idea of doing the same thing over and over and over in any kind of discipline whatsoever, whether, whether it's marketing or sports or playing an instrument, you always think you're going to get a different result, but you don't. You get the same result if you do the same thing over and over. There's no way to avoid that. So what do you do? The idea is to be innovative. It's one thing to have invention. It's another thing to have an innovative idea. Invention means, of course, creating something unique. Innovation means taking it to the marketplace. So the invention, a lot of people have a lot of ideas. Lots of people have many ideas that never come to fruition because they don't have the innovation to get it to the marketplace. There has to be a conduit to take it to where the people buy. Uh, the buyers are in a certain place and you have to acquire the right, oh, I should say infrastructure or highway to deliver the goods to the, to the marketplace. That's why I think uh, in the case of selling artists, um, direct marketing, that is getting on the phone with a decision maker, creating a relationship between the buyer and the seller, so that's you, I'm assuming we're talking about a, a manager, getting on the phone, selling XYZ artists, but the reason they buy XYZ artists is because they have a relationship with you, the seller. You're the original, you're the product in a way. Not the pianist, not the violinist, not the orchestra, not the series, if you're doing patron marketing. It's you. Look at them straight in the eye. In the case of a phone, you can't look at them. But look at them straight in the eye. Talk to them directly, not indirectly. And say, okay, this is what we have, but don't talk about only what you have to sell. Talk about politics, talk about the weather, talk about your family, talk about almost everything except getting down to business. And that sort of warms them up and gives, you, gives them an idea of your personality and they trust you. If you're gonna be honest with them, they're gonna trust you. If you're gonna be deceitful, not deceitful, decepting, uh, what's the word, decept, I can't come up with the word, we'll have to edit that out. Uh, if you deceive them, they're going to they're gonna pick that up. You have to be straightforward and direct and confident that what you're saying is the truth and that they will buy it. You can't have any um, apprehension about, oh my gosh, are they going to really believe me? Are they going to do this? Are they going to, what are they going to come back at me with? None of that. You have to be confident. Your delivery has to be very succinct. It has to be articulate, it has to be clean. And they're going to believe what you say, even if what you say is not truthful, your delivery might give them the idea that it is. Of course, we all want to tell the truth. Uh, there's no point in deceiving anyone in the concert business because it's a small world and eventually it will come out that you're trying to lead someone astray. So again, to recap this little idea of doing something different, that's innovation. Don't do the same old thing, flyers and you know, um, direct mail, um, hoping that you know, all these attractive printed materials are gonna work. We live in the internet age, use the internet. And what I mean by that is when you're phoning someone, send, the, send them a quick piece of sizzle in the email. What is sizzle? It's sort of a Hollywood term. It's like the thing that attracts you to the movie, you know, like the poster, uh, like Zorro, you know, you know flashing his uh, silver blade. Okay, sizzle in classical or jazz terms is sending 
uh, an image, a poster-like image through the email with a lot of deliverables on the image, meaning links to their repertoire, links to their discography, links to their YouTube, links to their iTunes, Amazon, whatever it is, their CDs, their upcoming engagements, their past engagements, their current engagements. I mean, deliverables are everything you have to offer. So if you have something to offer, put it on the sizzle. So once again, you make the call, you call directly to the decision maker. Within the first 10 or 15 seconds, you send the sizzle with their permission.